ladies and gentlemen, my name's Captain Laser Guns. I am here in Mission Control, right here at the Ecotech facility, the only astronaut facility on the planet, because Kerbin only produces astronauts. It's a weird biological thing, but we just go with it. It means we have a lot of test subjects. Test subjects like Jebediah Kerman, who are going to be sent in into space with the Kerbin Atmosphere Penetrator. This is the Mark I of the Penetrator series. Uh, Jebediah has fallen over. He's very clumsy. We're gonna have a lot of fun with Jebediah today as we send him right up into the atmosphere, hopefully getting him back down safely. The purpose of this is to see as to whether we can get someone to the second layer of the atmosphere in just a few seconds, which uh, our scientists have told us it's very unsafe, but what do scientists know when you have guns and guns they basically scientists don't like guns and we here at ecotech have a lot of guns so we are just about ready to launch the rocket and there it goes it is flying off into space it's already above those mountains we are very very proud in just a few seconds we've traveled two kilometers as we just broke there I'm not sure as to whether this will reach the second layer of the atmosphere, but Jebediah's pod most likely will. So basically what we have is we have all of the boosters and that attacked, attached to one section of the rocket, and then we have Jebediah's pod attached to a different part of the rocket. Once all of those boosters run out of fuel, Jebediah is going to detach himself, and we're just going to see how far he can go. So right there, we just went through the second layer of the atmosphere, and there goes Jebediah off his merry way at one kilometer a second. That's pretty fast. And we've accidentally sent out our parachute early. That's not good, because now we don't have a parachute. This is a problem. Now, Jebediah can fix it. He can get out, but I'm not sure as to whether he wants to get out and fix it, considering we are currently going half a kilometer a second which is very fast. If you've ever run, that's slow. This is fast. So, not sure what we're gonna do here. We're gonna look at the Ecotech logo. The Ecotech logo is very nice. It's got a tree. Trees are good. It's so far taken us 46 seconds to get to 50 kilometers above the Earth. That's decent. We can do better, I think. So, Jebediah is just fixed the uh, parachute so that we can get back into the atmosphere safely. And Jebediah is just going to go on a little space flight. Jebediah has never been in space before. Kerbals, being the natural spacefaring species that they are, have a great tendency to go into space. That's, that's why we have no cities or anything. We only have a big space station. Everyone lives in there. We're not sure where the rest of the population is. We only have dude Kerbals as well. We're not really sure how biologically we survive, but, you know, whatever keeps us going, I guess. You can see the moon in the background there. You could just see it for a little bit. We're going to try and get to that at some point. Maybe using the space penetrator, we're not too sure. The space penetrator is very efficient, but it can create a giant hole in the ozone layer, which isn't good, because then everyone dies. You don't really want everyone to die, because then Jebediah would be stuck in the middle of nowhere, so he's having a few troubles trying to get back onto this rocket. He's not doing too well. He's, he, he, he grabs on and he just floats away. This is bad, considering that the rocket is falling. Now we are no longer ascending. We are outside of the atmosphere. And as you can see by our meter ticker thingy up the top, we are currently at 56,000 kilometers. Uh, not f <laughs> jeez. 56,000 kilometers, that would be a long way away. We're at 54,000 kilometers. No, it's not even 54,000 meters. We're at 54 kilometers. As you can see, our science department isn't very good. So, we've just sped things up a little bit just to make it less boring descend into the Earth. Isn't that fun? Uh, didn't catch on fire that much there. That's a good sign. That means that Jebediah is still alive. We're going to call this experiment a success. We managed to get it at one kilometer a second. We managed to get about 10 kilometers above the Earth in less than 30 seconds. So that's good. We're clicking the abort button there and it doesn't do anything. Clicking the gears as well doesn't do anything either. This is a very simple 
rocket. So we're waiting until about 50 meters above the ground to this deploy our parachute and that is right now and it worked everyone's safe I hope if not we're gonna have a few lawsuits on our hand but I, I reckon that ecotech has done a very good job today we have surpassed our expectations Hopefully you will join us for the next experiment where we have no idea what we're gonna do We're probably gonna send someone up really fast again, or we're gonna send them up in a spinny rocket We have no idea anyway, we're gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed today's experiment See you later